hello everyone in this video we will discuss about four different cases of primary amenorrhea if you haven't seen my video on primary amenorrhea please see that thing so the case number one there is a 15 year old girl with primary amenorrhea i will be keeping the very simple format okay you see the breast development is there pubic hair is there USG you have done you see the uterus is there and there is a cyclic pain now what's your diagnosis so everything you need is there see for if you have seen that breast development is there so estrogen and progesterone you are getting pubic hair is there androgens you are getting so there is no androgen insensitivity syndrome also so AIS is removed estrogen and progesterone are there cyclic development is there so ovaries or testes can be present because estrogen progesterone can be generated from testes and ovary also on some amount but yes they can mullerian duct here is a present so if you have a mullerian duct present then amh is not there and AMH is not there that means testis is not there so most probably this is a normal female but it is she is having a cyclic pain that's why you can imagine that yes she might have imperforated hymen because it is a cause of cyclic pain otherwise everything is normal is a cause of primary amenorrhea so the diagnosis will be imperforated hymen the case number two here you see the same 15 old uh, girl with primary amenorrhea 15 year old girl primary amenorrhea you find breast development is there pubic hair is there but ultrasound uterus is not there now breast development is there so estrogen and progesterone is there pubic hair is there so androgens are also there and there is no AIS androgen insensitivity syndrome there is no AIS the uterus is absent that means uterus is not formed the Mullerian duct is not formed if Mullerian duct is not formed then you have only two options the first is MRKH and the second is xy genome the y chromosome is present because because of the y chromosome there is a, a, a amh is present and that's why you don't have a mullerian duct so you have two options either it is a mrkh or or any other syndromes having y chromosomes but y chromosome then the person is a male and again you see here is a breast development is there so in a male with breast development and the male is identified as a female so there is there is only one syndrome which can be identified as a female of having male okay see see first thing if a genotypically male patient is identified as female You have two options. One is a Swayer syndrome, and the second is AIS. The Swayer syndrome have uterus. Uterus is present in Swayer syndrome, and in AIS, uterus is not present. So here, Swayer syndrome cannot be there. Why? Because uterus is absent in this case. AIS is not there because the AIS have no pubic hair so the only diagnosis is possible here is MRKH that is Mullerian agenesis the case number 3 15 year old girl with primary amenorrhea you see a breast development is there that means estrogen progesterone present pubic hair is absent that means that there is no androgen 
and pubic hair is absent then your diagnosis becomes more and more confirmatory to the AIS because AIS is the only only thing in which pubic hair are completely absent and ultrasound uterus will be not there obviously in AIS uterus is not there so diagnosis is AIS case number four 15 year old girl primary amenorrhea breast development is not well it is there but not well pubic hair are also not well it is there uterus is present in the pelvis so once the uterus is present that means that AMH is not there so either there is no testis either there is no testis or there is no testicular tissue in female testis does not occur or in male if there is no enough amount of testicular tissue then also AMH will be there A AMH will be not there and uterus will be there so those with XX or female genotypically there can be Kalaman syndrome, pituitary, hypo, hypogonadism, ovarian dysgenesis and for XY there is a Swear syndrome. In Swear syndrome what happens? In Swear syndrome the genotype is a male but the testicular tissue is not developed well. So the AMH is not so AMH is not there and that's why the irritating guest of Mullerian duct will come and it will generate the uterus but the androgens are secreted obviously but they are not in well amount so breast development uh, this, those androgens can also convert into estrogens so their breast development is not well but it is there pubic hair are there but not well so all these symptoms come under this case number four I think that if you understand this kind of cases uh, four cases then you can solve most of the most of the question asked in your exam thank you